Hey everybody, so today I thought I would do a what's in my school bag video. Uh, I'm going to cosmetology school. I also carry a purse, so this is just like all my school books and stuff, but it is super heavy. But first, I have a hair extension, if you guys can see it. I got it the other day in class. You can kind of see the red. It's not an actual feather, it's synthetic because I don't wear feathers, and these are fake too. But I thought that was kind of fun, so I thought I'd show you guys that really quickly. But this is my bag, and it's about 30 or 40 pounds. It's super heavy. Oh my gosh, it's really heavy. Um, it's a Harajuku Lovers tote bag. I got it at Marshall's. And I have a little hand sanitizer clipped on here. Oh, this is the one side. And it's just super cute. And there's a pocket down here which I have some gloves in because I am allergic to latex and that's the kind of gloves they have at my school so I have to buy my own gloves because of that. But yeah, this is a really nice tote because like I said I have about 30 to 40 pounds of books in here and it's holding up really well so super cute. So, so you can see the camera shake when I set it down. So first I have um, a planner which I'll just show back because it says my school name on it. This has you know, we got this for free, so that was kind of cool. And then I have some blotting sheets with a hair elastic tied around it. And this is like the cutest thing. I just got this at Cosmo Prof a few weeks ago. This is my apron for when we start doing hair dye and stuff. And you find the top. It is like the cutest thing ever. It has little skulls with little hearts as eyes and a pink bow and this crossbones are little scissors and it has little pockets with those on it. Super, super cute. So I don't really want to say I'm excited to wear it because then that means I'm going to be doing hair and I hate hair so I'm more in it for the makeup so I'm not really looking forward to using it but it's super cute. Then I have this binder which I got at Walmart and this is our procedure manual. It kind of like when we're doing somebody's hair or something we forget how to do something if we're just learning how to do it. Whoops. We can have this out and it says like how to do a shampoo, a uh, shampoo procedure for different kinds of hair. And then in front, this was a project we had to do. It's like different hair of different decades. So I got that done. And then this is my main binder. Which again I got at Walmart and decorated it with like some Rachel Zoe pictures and all this stuff. I think this is a two or three inch binder. This is like where I keep everything in it. I have a of Chanel of course. I have a test which I got a B minus on which I'm very mad because I've gotten all A's so far and this is my first B so I was really mad. I just have like some extra stuff in there I have to do. Then I have this little zipper thing. I just have some gum in it, some post-it notes, little like um, the little sticky notes you put on the pages. And then we didn't get our books for a while, so she did print out so the first few chapters, so I have all those chapters here. And then, these are actually folders, or not folders, they're files that like you put in a filing cabinet. I got these at Target during the summer, I don't think they have them anymore, but I got like three or four for a dollar. And what I do is I label like the little tabs, this one is quizzes, so when you open it up, I have all my quizzes in here. And then the next one is tests. So I keep all my tests in there. And then the last one is worksheets. And again, if I open it up, worksheets are in it. So that's kind of a good way to organize your stuff if you're looking for some organization tips. And then I just have a couple of folders back here which are empty. Or this is not. This has just some. Sorry about that. This just has some extra papers in it. And then our like cosmetology thing that we had to sign which was a total joke because it's like no swearing no inappropriate talk and that's like all I do so that's kind of a joke but anyway that is like my main binder that I keep everything in then I have a Hello Kitty little notebook which again I got at Walmart I think I got pretty much all my school stuff at Walmart and this has an, like a 10 page outline I just had to do on one of the chapters so I just keep like outlines and stuff I have to do in that. Then I have some index cards because we have to do flashcards for each chapter we do which is kind of a pain in the neck but 
they are really helpful for studying so I've been trying to keep up on those but I'm sort of starting to get behind because we're getting more and more work to do so trying not to fall behind. Then this is one of our workbooks we have. We have the Milady uh, curriculum I guess you can call it. This is our practical workbook. It is huge. Right now I'm doing chapter 5 and it has 120 questions in this so it's been taking me quite a while to finish it. Then we also have a theory workbook and again this one also has like another 120 questions so that's kind of what I've been doing all weekend but it's just you know just questions that you had to fill in and answer lots of stuff and then for our book this is like the thing that weighs the most it's probably weighs 15 pounds it's the Milady standard cosmetology book and this is the 2011 edition which is kind of cool we got the newest one so that's really nice and this it's okay. Like I said, I don't really like hair, and that's kind of what the main focus of this whole class is. I'm in it for nails and makeup, and there's like one chapter on makeup, and it's just like the minimum basics that like everybody already knows. So I'm just playing in it for that, but for the hair, it has like really good pictures and diagrams and stuff, so I'm happy with the hair and not so happy with the nails and makeup because it's kind of like the absolute minimum, but I mean, you know, there's not much I can do about that. Then I have a random bookmark that's laying in the, in the bottom of this. I try to put bookmarks in my books, but they just slide out, so, yeah. And then I have this pencil case, which is Hard Candy. Again, I got this at Walmart. It's actually with the Hard Candy makeup, so I thought it was kind of fun. It's like a makeup brand pencil case. And inside, I just have mostly highlighters, pencils, uh, some, like, Sharpie markers, and some really cute zebra print pens and it's just kind of chock full. I like having lots of different colors of highlighters because it just sort of helps everything stand out a little bit better when I'm trying to study. So that's that and this actually fits quite a bit of stuff and it was only like three dollars which is a pretty good price. And then the inside has a couple, has like a pocket on the side and a couple pockets on the other side and all I have in the pocket are some Twizzlers which I keep forgetting are in here so I haven't eaten them yet but typically when I go to class I'll also have a bottle of water in here and then like I said I have a purse that I bring also so I keep like all my makeup and snacks and stuff in that but this is all my school stuff it's a very heavy bag I had to lug this in and out of my car every day and then up to my bedroom when I'm doing my homework but we also have a kit, but unfortunately we're not allowed to bring that home. So it's, um, we actually have a locker at school, which is kind of cool because I've never had a locker before. So, um, that's at, you know, our school. I'm allowed to bring that home after we've, like, completed 60% of the course. So maybe once I've done that, maybe then I can do a video showing you guys what's in it. Because there's some nice stuff. There's, like, Marcel iron, there's a, a flat iron, there's perm rods, roller sets, mannequin heads. Um, we're getting an acrylic set soon, so it's kind of fun, but it kind of stinks we had to keep that at school because for me, I've never done anything with hair, so I'd really like to be able to have those here to practice the mannequins, but oh well. So that's what's in my school bag and kind of how I organize stuff. If you guys are going to cosmetology school, let me know how that's going, or if you guys are just going to typical school, let me know how it's going, and I'd love to see what's in your school bag video, I guess. So if you want to do that, leave that as a video response down below, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.